guys so for this tutorial i'll be using my measuring tape my lightweight here and my stitch markers and my size 3 millimeter hook so to get started i'll be working in two panels the front and the back panel and i'll be using the regular style meaning i'll be working from up all the way down to where i want the length of my dress to be mm -hmm. now for the measurement i measured my shoulder panel so my front shoulder panel which i'm going to also use for the back panel since they're both going to be identical panels so i measured my shoulder panel and it's 14 inches now the shoulder the amount of inches sorry the amount of foundation chain or the measurement you use for your starting point determines your neck hole so if you want a smaller neck hole you can go for less inches and if you want bigger neck hole you can go for more inches but for mine is 14 inches and now i'm just going to make a chain that will give me 14 inches now because i'm going to be working with front post stitch for this work the amount of stitches i end up with for my foundation chain i'm going to try and divide us to know how i'm going to work with the front post stitch because you really need your stitch markers for this one because definitely there's a lot of counting in this one in terms of the post stitches so now i'm just going to okay so now i have a total of 68 chains and this gave me 14 inches now for the first two i'm going to chain one and put one double crochet in each stitch till i get to the end of the row I'm at the end of the first row for the second row start by chaining one in the first stitch go in with one double crochet now what you're going to do is you're going to put one front post double crochet in the next two stitches one and two in the next stitch you're going to do an increase so in the stitch immediately after your post stitch go in with two double crochets You can use a stitch marker to mark off where you'll be increasing because you're going to be increasing on the stitch immediately after the post stitch so you can use a stitch marker to just put on the first stitch after the post stitch now in the next seven stitches making it a stitch because we have an increase in the first stitch so put one double crochet in the next seven stitches Okay, I have double crochets in eight stitches, but I have nine double crochets because of the increase I did in the first stitch. Now, in the next three stitches, you're going to do a front post double crochet. Now, the amount of stitches you have between each post stitch can be less or more depending on your size. This is for a size medium, so it can be six, it can be five, it can be ten. It depends on your size. You can increase or reduce the amount of double crochets you have between the post stitch. So in the next three stitches, go into the front post with one double crochet. Now, in the stitch after this post stitch, go in with two double crochets, so you have your increase. Now, in the next three stitches, go in with one double crochet. So I have four stitches but five double crochets because of the increase I did. Now in the next 
three stitches go into the front post with one double crochet front post double crochet stitch I have three front post stitches do an increase in the stitch after the post stitch so two double crochets And the next three stitches go in with one double crochet making it four stitches but five double crochets put one front post stitch in the next three stitches Now do an increase in the stitch after the post stitch. So two double crochets. Now in the next three stitches go in with one double crochet, making it four stitches but five double crochets. One, two, three, four. now we've come to the middle of the panel so in the next three stitches this is going to be the middle rib of the dress go in with one front post double crochet now from this point you're going to mirror what you did on the side so i have a total of one two three four I have a total of four, one, two, three, four, five. So I have a total of four post stitch on this end, and this fifth post stitch is the middle stitch, or rather the middle line of the dress. So after this post stitch, I'm going to mirror what I did on this end. So remember, I was doing an increase immediately after the post stitch. But for now, I'm not going to be doing an increase after the post stitch, but rather I'll be doing an increase before the next post stitch. So instead of doing an increase immediately after, in the next four stitches, go in with one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. In this fourth stitch go back in with one more double crochet making it an increase now go into the next three stitches with a front post double crochet so like i said i'm going to be mirroring what i was doing before i got to the fifth post and um, rib stitch so i was doing an increase immediately after the post stitch but now I'll be doing an increase before the next post stitch. So go in with one double crochet in the next four stitches. In this fourth stitch, go back in with another double crochet, making it an increase. And then do a post stitch in the next three stitches. So you're just going to do this till you get to the end of the row. Now I'm done with the second row and I'm just going to quickly recap. So in the first stitch I went in with one double crochet and then I put one front post double crochet in the next two stitches. Between this post stitch and the next post stitch I have a total of eight double crochets. Same with this end, I have a total of 8 double crochets, so I have a double crochet, 2 front post double crochet, and 8 double crochet between the two post stitch. Now from this point, before the post stitch, I have an increase. I don't know if you guys can see it. So from this point, if you're coming from this point, after the post stitch, sorry, I have an increase immediately after the post stitch. So I have a total of nine double crochets 
in eight stitches because of this increase so i have nine double crochets and then i did three front post stitch which is mirroring this part so i also did three front post stitch now between the post stitch i have a total of five double crochets in five stitches because i did an increase immediately after the post stitch here i have a total of five double crochets before i get here so i don't confuse you guys let me just continue from this point so i have five double crochets and then three post stitch and increase immediately after the post stitch then five double crochets three post stitch five double crochets and increase immediately after the post stitch and then when i got to the middle post stitch because remember i have a total of nine post stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine so this is the middle post stitch so after i got to this point i mirrored what i did for this part so while i was increasing immediately after the post stitch starting from this point after the middle post stitch i started increasing before the post stitch the next post stitch so yeah i was increasing immediately after the post stitch and yeah i was increasing before the next post stitch so i have five double crochets the only places i have nine double crochets are uh, the post sorry the part between the second to the last post stitch and the last post stitch i hope i'm really explaining this well now if you want to make this for other sizes you can measure yourself and then determine how many stitches so based on the amount of stitches that will give you a measurement you can now divide how many stitches you want between the post stitches so your like I said before, the amount of stitches between the post stitch, each post stitch can be more or less, depending on your size. Now I've come to the end of the second row. For the third row, start by chaining one, which I already did. In the first stitch, go in with one double crochet. Now in the next two stitches, you have a back post stitch, so go into the back post stitch with one double crochet. One. And two. In the very stitch after the two back post stitch, where you have your stitch marker, I'm just going to remove the stitch marker. Go into the stitch after your post stitch with two double crochets. Now I'm just going to put my stitch marker back in this first stitch. So the first double crochet stitch, just put your stitch marker there. Now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till you get to the next post stitch. So I've come to my post stitch. I have three back post stitch. Go into the three stitches with eight back post double crochet. One, two, and three. Now in the next stitch after your post stitch, go in with two double crochets. Move your stitch marker. Go into the very next stitch with two double crochets one two i'm going to put my stitch marker back into the first stitch of the increase now continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the post stitch I'm at the post stitch going to the next three back post stitch with a back post double crochet stitch one 
two, and three. In this stitch where you have your stitch marker, you're going to go in with two double crochets. stitch marker back where we have your first double crochet after the post stitch continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitch so you get to the next post stitch Now I've gone to the next three back post stitch, go in with one back post double crochet stitches. And the very next stitch after the post stitch, you're going to do an increase. One, two. I'm going to put a stitch marker into the first stitch after the post stitch. Now continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the post stitch. Now I'm at the next post stitch. I have three double crochets. Go in three back post double crochet stitches so I'm at the middle of the panel if you remember I have one two three four four sets of post stitch before the middle and four sets of post stitch after the middle so now when you get to the middle you're going to mirror what you did on the side so if you remember the post stitch is immediately sorry the increase is immediately after the post stitch but once you get to this middle you're going to be increasing on the last stitch after the post stitch not the first stitch after the post stitch so if you remember you're increasing on the first stitch after the post stitch but once you get to the middle stitch the middle post stitch you're going to be increasing in the last stitch after the post stitch, not the stitch after the post stitch. So, going to each stitch with one double crochet. Once you get to where your stitch marker is, going to the last stitch. With two double crochets and then you have your post stitch go into the next three post stitches with one double crochet so with one back post double crochet stitch now put one double crochet in each stitch till you get to where you have a stitch marker Can remove your stitch marker and the last stitch where you had your stitch marker go in with two double crochets now go into the back post of the next three stitches with one double crochet I'm at the end of the third row for the fourth row start by chaining one and turn over in the first stitch go in with one double crochet now you have two front post stitches go into the front post stitch with one double crochet one then go into the next front post stitch with another front post double crochet two remove your stitch marker in the very stitch after your post stitch go in with two double crochets one, 
and two. Now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till you get the next post stitch. Now I've come to the next front post stitches, go into the three post stitches with a front post double crochet. One, two, and three. And the very next stitch after the post stitches, go in with two double crochets. So into the very next stitch, go in with two double crochets. One, and two. So you have your front post stitch in the stitch after the post stitch you have two double crochets then one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch and the stitch after the post stitch you have two double crochets now put in one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till you get to the next post stitch So I've come to the post stitch and go into the three post stitches with one front post double crochet. One, two, three. Now in the stitch after the post stitch, go in with two double crochets. Continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch. To your post stitch for each one front post double crochet. And the stitch after the post stitch go in with two double crochets one and two. Now continue with one double crochet till you get to the middle post stitch now i've come to the middle post stitch and this is the middle of the panel so this is the middle if you remember i have one two three four four post stitches and then the fifth post stitch is the middle of the panel so i have four post stitches after the middle stitch one two three four now after this middle stitch what you're going to be doing you're going to be increasing in the last double crochet stitch after the panel not the first double crochet stitch so you remember before the middle panel we've been increasing in the very first stitch after the post stitch but for now we're going to start increasing in the last stitch after the post stitch so from this point you're alternating between row two and row three and if you have to do anything different i'm definitely going to show you so i did a total of eight rows of alternating between the post stitch and the double crochet stitch so if you remember from this point you're increasing in the stitch after the post stitch and then when you get to the middle of the panel you're going to start increasing in the last stitch after the post stitch now for the ninth row, I'm going to stop increasing. So chain one, turn over. In the first stitch, go in with one double crochet. 
now in this two post stitch go in with your front post double crochet so unlike the previous row where you have to increase in the stitch after the post stitch you're not going to do any increase so just keep on with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch so from this point it's no longer as complicated as the previous stitches sorry the previous rows just putting in one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch Now I'm at the post stitch, go in with one front post double crochet stitch in each of the post stitch. Continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch. So from this point, that's basically what you're going to be doing. You're just going to keep on alternating between one double crochet in each stitch and when you get to the post stitch depending on if is the front post stitch or the back post stitch you're going to work in your post stitch so from this point i'm not doing any increase i'm not doing any two double crochet in each stitch i'm just going in with one double crochet in each stitch now i'll do this like get to underneath my arm and i'll let you know how many rows i end up doing so i did a total of 12 rows of no increase making it 20 rows so if you remember i did eight rows of increase plus 12 rows of no increase making it 20 rows now i'm going to work on the lower part of the dress so what you want to do is you want to form the armhole so for that i used my stitch marker and i counted five stitches away from the second post stitch so five stitches away from this is the first post stitch this is the second post stitch so i counted five stitches away and used my stitch marker to mark on the sixth stitch also repeated that for the second um part of the panel so i counted five stitches away from this second post stitch now what you're going to do is you're going to make a chain so i already did a chain on this end and i attached my yarn to where i have my stitch marker which is on the sixth stitch and made a chain of 12 now i'm going to do that to the second side so my yarn is already attached to where i have my stitch marker i'm going to make a chain of 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now chain one Put in one double crochet in each of the chain stitch. Okay, so I've come to the end of the chain stitch. I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to continue along. I'm just going to remove my stitch marker. In the very next stitch after you have your chain stitch go in with one double crochet now just continue with one double crochet till you get to the post stitch now i'm at the post stitch go into the post stitch with one front post double crochet one two and three 
and three continue with one double crochet in the next few stitches till you get to the next post stitch so what you're doing is you're working in from this end all the way down till you get to the end of the chain so just keep on working when you get to the post stitch go in with your post stitch till you get to the end of the second chain i'm at the end of the row chain one and turn over Walk in one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the post stitch. Now I've come to where my post stitch is, I'm going to go into the back post with one back post double crochet. Now continue with one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the next post stitch. I'm at the next post stitch go into each of the post stitches with one back post double crochet so like i said from this point you're just going to be working back and forth with one double crochet and when you get to the post stitch depending on which part is facing go in with a front post or back post double crochet stitch and I'm going to do this till I have the length I want for my dress, which I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing. But for now, just keep on walking back and forth. I did a total of 80 rows of alternating between double crochet and the post stitch. So from this point, after the armhole, down to the length of the dress, I have a total of 80 rows. So if you remember, I did 20 rows for the upper part of the dress. So in total, I have 100 rows, 20 for the upper part of the dress and 80 for the lower part of the dress. Now, as you can see, I already joined the two panels and I'm sorry I didn't do that on camera. It's just that stitching is kind of hard for me. So I have to take my time to stitch the two panels together. But what I did was... I joined the two panels together and then I stitched from this point where you have the armhole so this point where I changed 12 I stitched from here down to the end of the dress then I did the same for the other side from where you have your 12 chains all the way down to the end I stitched the two panels together now next what I did was remember we have two separate panels so this part is also separated so i stitched from the neckline the beginning of the neckline all the way down to where i stopped for my armhole so you're going to have a total of four post stitch remember you did two on each side so you have a total of four post stitch for the shoulder arm oh sorry the shoulder part of the dress so for the other side i also stitched the neckline all the way down to the end of the armhole now i'm going to work on the sleeve so for the sleeve i already attached my yarn you're going to attach your yarn on any of the post stitch so i attached in the first post stitch now start by chaining one i'm still using my three millimeter hook i just changed it so you're going to start by chaining one yarn over because this is a post stitch go into the post stitch with one front post double crochet now go into the next post stitch with one double crochet 
Again, over, you're going to ignore this seam, the seam that you stitched. Go into this third post stitch with one front post double crochet. And go into the last post stitch with one front post double crochet. You have a total of four post stitches. Now continue with one double crochet in each stitch. Just keep on putting one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the post stitch. I've come to these post stitches. You're going to go into each of the front posts with one front post double crochet. So you're still repeating what you did for the body of the dress. Anytime you get to a post stitch, you're going to go in with your front post or back post double crochet. But since we are working in rounds, you're just going to be using the front post double crochet because you're working in rounds. Now you just continue with one double crochet in the next few double crochet stitches till you get to the next post stitch. Now I'm going to keep on doing this like yes to the end of my armhole. So till I get to the end and I come back to this chain one I did at the beginning of the row, you're just going to keep on alternating between your double crochet stitches and your post stitch. So we have one post um one set of posts here, we have another one here and this. So for the sleeves, you're going to have three posts, the two on the side and the four post stitches that you have on the shoulder panel. So one, two, and three. So I'm just going to continue till I get to the end of the row. Now I've come to the end of the row. You're going to slip stitch into the chain one to close up the round. Chain one. For the next row, go into the post stitch with one front post double crochet. One, two, three, four. Now continue with one double crochet in the rest of the stitches till you get to the next post stitch. So you're going to keep on doing this and I'll let you know how many rows I end up doing. If I'm doing anything different, I'll let you know. But for now, just keep on going around, alternating between the double crochet and the post stitch. So I did a total of 50 rows for my sleeves, which you can make longer or shorter depending on the length you want for your sleeves. And that is it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.